basically yeah. flipped the whole house up the other way. So about six months ago, obviously, was when you guys picked up the keys for this place. Yeah. Now, what could you see in this property that the other buyers couldn't? The view is the main thing that sort of drew us to the property. Um, and also, it was like a time capsule, mm. uh, the shag pile carpet, all of these things just made me need to come and check it out. Yeah. And then we got here and saw the view. Very 70s, very 70s. But I think after the initial inspection, um, you know, we we're pretty impressed with how good structurally the house was. Um, it was it was a solid house and we just saw potential. Um, obviously in an area that's sort of up and coming as well, um, the view just sort of sold us um, and, and what we wanted to do. And then, yeah, I guess, M went to work with the floor plan and, and, and whatnot and, and the vision started to come alive. Yeah, great. Well, that sort of leads into my next question. Like, what have you guys actually done to this property? Like, if you have a look at the old photos and the old floor plan, nothing looks the same. Yeah, it's... We well, basically it's, yeah. flipped the whole house up the other way. So previously, well, where we're sitting right now was the master bedroom. Uh, the lounge room was on the other side of the house and we just felt like it just didn't yeah, get enough out of the view. Mm. Really, you want to have the biggest this. selling point. You yeah, the, the view. I mean, it's, that was certainly a massive thing, and, and to be able to bring the common areas so they're all you know really working with the view was was a massive focal point of M's plan. Um, but as you said, Aaron, like it involved, it did involve a, a fair amount of work, but um, we we certainly relish the challenge, and and we're pretty happy with, with yeah, it. It does well. seem to flow a lot better now. The floor plan from what it was. Now we've spoken a lot about the positives of this place, but yeah. in the trendy TV, TV show, Selling Sunset, The Block, there's always yeah. a lot of emotion involved. Yeah. I want to know what surprises, what were the challenges you guys faced during this process? Two weeks after we picked up the keys, we actually gave birth to our second child. <laughs> so we have a toddler and a newborn and a renovation site. We probably underestimated how much that would increase the difficulty level. But um, yeah, that was probably the biggest challenge. <laughs> Where did your time, like, did you have time to do all this or what? Oh, it's a blur to be It is a bit of a blur. We're, we're incredibly <laughs> lucky with our, you know, having the support from our families. But, um, you know, Nari would come to site a lot with us. And, um, yeah, we'd yeah. just try and work around it as best we could and just try to embrace it all. I mean, that's the only way we could do it. So that's we right. got the demo done um, in two weeks. A couple of bouts of gastro. And yeah, it was, it all was of crazy. Those fun delays. It was making this sound just like a roller yeah. coaster. Yeah. You, you obviously have made such changes to the, to the property. Yes. If someone that doesn't have a building background, yeah. or someone has got an eye for those details, are there yeah. any extra hidden features, I suppose, we might be able to pick up from yeah. your expertise? Yeah, I guess um, structurally, um, we took out a lot of walls. If um, yeah, it, it was quite pokey before and, and segmented, so we were able to put a big beam through the roof and uh, to alleviate some of the, the roof weight on the walls, and it really allowed for that open plan vibe that we, we really wanted. Um, it was essentially a necessity. Yeah. Um, so look, there are a lot of first home buyers moving in into this particular area and there's some still some really good rental returns. Yeah. Where do you guys see any insights in the area? What potential do you guys see moving forward for a potential purchaser if they're looking for a first home or someone looking to put this as a rental property for long term gain? Yeah, in a sense like it would suit a lot of different people whether it's a first home buyer or a retired couple it yeah. suits a lot of different demographics. Um, you have made it feel very homely. Yeah, yeah, like we, we really love it. I'm, we, we're going to miss it. It's kind of, um, yeah, it's been a big part of our sort of heart and this has sort of been our first project where we've um, gone all in together um, with, under, under the banner of Revive. Oh yeah, tell us about yeah. you guys. Like obviously it's a family business. Let's yeah. indulge into that a little bit. Yeah, yeah, well, I guess we've done a few properties together um, just in our private, you know, under our own names um, and we thought well, let's let's have a crack at doing this officially so we we started revive property developments um on the back of the properties that we'd already done and the success that we'd have and the feedback we were getting thinking okay well let's you know let's put all our eggs in one basket and, and really have a crack at this and we've just really found ourselves and enjoyed it um, as far as what we want to do in the future i think we just yeah, want to keep doing more of these. Uh, I'd really like to get back involved with, um, I spent a lot of time with St. Joseph's and Build Up Tassie. So working with a lot of the young people, 
Um, it's a big passion of mine, um, working with young people and, and to try and get them into the construction industry. Well, that's the full transformation of this property from what it was to what it is. Well, again, I just want to say really big thank you to you both, Robbie and M from Revive Property Developments. We really appreciate the opportunity and we're really excited to see what's going yeah. to come up in the future. Oh, thanks, for, thanks, thanks for having, having us. us. It's yeah, been a pleasure to have you in here and um, we're really looking forward to it. Job.